Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Happy, terrific Tuesday, everybody. Yes, we have got crafts, we have got cakes, fashions, and a skunk. <laughs> Yeah, it's yes. a fun pack show That's today. Truly a variety <laughs> on the show today. <laughs> and some other little furry creatures as well. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky filling in for Fiona today. And I hope you all enjoyed your holiday weekend. There's so much to do with the rodeo going on, including seeing these animals here at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Yes, indeed. And Courtney Zava from <laughs> Safari. <laughs> well, thanks, Safari. Yes, Welcome. It's okay. You're yes. holding Olaf Jr. He is a um, chinchilla, the softest mm -hmm. animal in the world. This is Flower, our um, chocolate skunk. Chocolate. You know, she smells like chocolate, right? <laughs> 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 and this is Apollo. He's a black and white rough lemur who obviously thinks he missed his breakfast this morning. Ooh. So he's chowing down some blueberries. <laughs> he, he is hilarious in those eyes when he's looking at you. I know. I don't, he probably won't share. Let me see okay, the skunk. Now he's she, he, she. She, she mm -hmm. has been de-skunked, right? Yes, she's descented. Okay. Yep, they have little scent glands, and we remove them as a baby whenever we brought her in. Because, well, it's really just a defense mechanism with these guys. So if they get scared, mm -hmm. then their first you know, instinct is to stick that tail up and spray you. Because if you look, she doesn't have very good eyes or ears. They're really tiny, but she smells. She can smell the blueberries. See how she's smelling? Oh, now? yeah. I saw her nose. Yeah, yeah. she oh, definitely you smell smells. Blueberries too? He likes blueberries sometimes, You too. like blueberries too? You want a blueberry? There you go. You so this is one I'm sure the kids love when you take to the presentations. It, it, well, she's not really a favorite, but once they meet her, she is a favorite after that. Like, they love this. Company. She's like a big giant cat, more or less. <laughs> Hello. Um, but they're not legal in Texas as pets. So I don't think you guys can just, like, go out and see a skunk in the back pasture and, and want to bring it in as a pet. Um, we have special permits to be able to have her as an educational animal. Because you said no indigenous mm -hmm. animal. Yeah, you're not supposed to have indigenous can... animals in Texas as pets here. Like, no raccoons, no skunks, anything like that. Um, but we got her from out of state. And you know you have, like, choices of skunks? Chocolate, lavender, or normal. Oh. Right. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> lavender would put me to sleep. Maybe I could sleep on it like a pillow. Lavender sounds nice. Right? <laughs> but we chose chocolate because she's a lot of fun to talk about. <laughs> what I was so amazed at is her fur is so thick and so soft. Yeah. I thought it was more wiry coarse. and coarse. Yeah. Um, in the wild, they may be. She's never had a bath with us. She's actually just soft like that naturally. No uh, bath, huh? Yeah, I mean, you like you to notice, stink? Like, she's really squishy. So they, <laughs> they pack on the weight for the winter because they're, these guys go out and we see her sharp claws too. Mm -hmm. They go out and they forage and they're looking for fruit and vegetables Ooh. to eat in the wild. And they also like to eat a lot of insects. So, you know, in the wintertime, she can't find a lot of them, but her nose can smell them several inches under the ground. And she uses that nose to go around. Oh, you finished it off. Um, she uses that nose to go around digging your gardens and stuff like that and be able to find things to eat. Now, when people see a skunk in the yard and they immediately think, uh oh, that's a rabid skunk. Not necessarily. Really? It's probably just looking for something. Maybe it's lost. Maybe its home was destroyed and kind of got displaced in the middle of the day. Leave it alone. See if it'll go on or call somebody who can come and safely remove it. It may be sick. Not necessarily rabies, but it could, you know, have okay. something else. Right. And um, have and it safely taken away. Your microphone just fell off your ear. Oh. <laughs> right there if you just want to hold it up. But, uh, and now the go. little guy I have here, Olaf, the chinchilla. You said the softest animal in the world, right? Yes. Olaf is about eight months old. And um, these guys literally are the softest animals in the entire face of the planet. But he's also endangered. So that's one of the things we're talking about when you guys come down to the stock show and you meet him or in birthday parties. Both mm -hmm. of these guys are endangered, actually. And, um, and we talk about, you know, why and conservation and how people can help save them and, and stuff like that. For instance, he is because of um, the fur trade. People, you know, want to make fur coats and stuff out of them. And, and, and that's one of the importance that I talk about with kids. Do we really need that? And, and he's native to <clears throat> Asia? South America. So, oh, South America. In the Andes Mountains, he does not like hot weather. Okay. Yeah. So in here, we have to keep them really cool in the summertime because it's just, it's wretched in the summer. And the lemur, <laughs> which Apollo. is just hilarious. I know. I thought he was going to be still, but he's, he's like, no, I'm it's, not going to be still. He's young as well. And that's part of the reason why he's so active. But um, once I get him calmed down... Let's see. Okay, he likes his armpit scratch. There he goes. <laughs> we'll see if he'll roll around in a minute. And what are some of his personality traits? Oh, he so seems real fun. <laughs> he is a lot of fun. He's actually a really, really silly little guy. And he's about 10 months old. And um, he's going to almost double in size. And these guys oh, really? are native to Madagascar. And, um, you know, the big islands over there next mm -hmm. to Africa. But he is 
So the, the black and white rough lemurs are a little bit more off, I'd say, than, say, red rough lemurs, which you guys have met our red rough before. Yes, mm -hmm. and, um, and they're just, you know, he'll love me one second, and the next minute he acts like he's never met me. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. And you're... your little creature over there. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite animals in the whole wide world, too. This is a Caledonian gecko. She is the largest gecko in the entire world, and she's not finished growing, guys. She's going to get a lot bigger, probably at least a good two inches longer, and her chest size is going to go up to about that wide, wow. and it's this wide now. What's her name? <clears throat> I haven't named her yet. So they don't have a lot of personality. I mean, they just kind of yeah. are there. Oh, don't put her down. Oh. She might run. They're, they're lightning fast, too. <laughs> oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, they are lightning fast, but they're really good um, at camouflage, so her eyes can turn as light silver as, or her body mm. can turn as light silver as her eyes. She can also get super dark and camouflage and look like tree bark. And she's so cold right now. You said she's loving this weather. They right? do. They like cooler weather. So about the 60s, um, which is nice because my house doesn't stay warm. Anything over 80, and you can actually lose your little gecko, wow. the Caledonians. And these guys come from the Caledonian Islands over by Australia. And you're at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And then people yeah. can also hire you for birthday parties. Yeah, or birthday parties, or like um, anything pretty much. Okay. Petting zoos, birthday parties, educational programs, nice. schools, libraries. And um, yeah, definitely come out and see us and come meet these guys up close. And we have different animals um, almost every day. We bring out a different stuff and, and um, it's really cool. 3.30, right. 5.30 and 7.30. Yeah. Patients out there and more on Wild <laughs> Zoo, uh, Wild Things Zoofari, pardon me, yeah. but at salive.com. No click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Oh, there he goes. Now he wants his arm to scratch. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> it is Tuesday and that means you get to try something, right? Yes. Different every Tuesday. You know, in elementary school, we all made our clay little things like that, but throwing clay on the actual potter's wheel and everything, I finally got a chance to try that. It is Ooh. wonderful and it's for a very, very good cause. So take a look. Super. In your next life, you could be a potter. <laughs> well, it's called Empty Bowls, and it benefits Sam Ministries, and Navari Williams is in charge of Sam Ministries. So what's this all about with Empty Bowls? Oh, this is kind of a, a funny name. Almost. Well, it's, it's an amazing event. Uh, this is the 19th year of the event. Uh, the San Antonio's Potter's Guild, the San Antonio Lassard Guild, and for the first time ever, the Alamo Wood Turners, so we'll have some wooden bowls as well. We sell most of the bowls for $25, and then uh, for each bowl that you buy, you get to go in, into the, the church. Uh, we have a setup where soup is going to be served, and we have lots of delicious soup from uh, many different restaurants across the city. And so we all work together to try to raise money to help those who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. And who comes and buys all these bowls? Anybody and everybody? Anybody and everybody. So the address is 300 Augusta, and it's the Southwest School of Art. And it's a beautiful campus, and it's the event's going to be rain or shine. Mm -hmm. The doors open at 11, but I'll tell you, folks start getting here at 8.30 or 9 o'clock lining up. So something new that, that we've started uh, with Empty Bowls is the opportunity for someone to come in early. So for $100, you get to come in at 10.30, you get to come in half an hour early, mm -hmm. you get uh, two bowls for that $100, and you have the opportunity to shop at your leisure for the first half hour. Okay. And then there's also uh, opportunities for silent auction, opportunities for some pricier items, and people can bid on those items as well. And even some of the uh, items for sale, up for auction, are yeah, going to be celebrities, good buys. Celebrities like you and other TV newscasters, uh, they've been very generous. Even Josh Davis, the, the swimmer, has done a bowl. Okay. Well, not, I yeah, should say championship. I, I don't want to be outdone by an Olympic gold medalist, <laughs> so I'm going to try my hand at making a bowl. I don't know if it's going to be as good as him, but you know, here's <laughs> John is with the San Antonio Potter's Guild, and you make it look so easy. How long have you been doing this? Oh gosh, 20 some years. Okay. A lot of clay has gone through my hands. So what's so special about this clay? Is, is there anything? Th this clay is what we call high fire clay. So it's fired after it's glazed to 2350 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it will go into the microwave, the dishwasher, so you don't have to wash it by hand. Pedals down here, so right. you're gonna, that'll be your, your foot feed. And you want to put it right here in the middle. Okay, wet a little bit. So just start it slowly, and you're going to want to use water. So use that sponge and a little water, and sort of push your two hands together. I'm going to put a little more water there for you. Okay. Now move your hands up with the clay just very slowly, and now push it back down. Just open it up right here, and then put some water in that 
buttonhole and okay. bring all, go all the way down to about a half inch from the bottom. Oh really? Oh wow. Now you can put a little water in there. Okay. And then? And then pull it out. With two fingers? With two fingers is fine. So I'm still a little out of whack here. That'll be all right though. Okay. And just keep pulling? Just keep pulling. And then from there you want to start from the bottom and you want to make a cylinder. Pinch it up? Yeah, pinch it up. Just one hand or two? Just, uh, just one hand. Oh, 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 oh shoot, that's my signature. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. The Osterhage special. One of those things where you just have to, to have to feel it. it. You do. Yeah. I'll be, well, I'll be darned. So not bad. Okay, I'll buy it. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know if it'll hold liquid wow. or not. No, but uh, it's being <laughs> fired right now. That's very relaxing. Have you ever Is done it? That? No, I was going to ask you. How was it? Once you kind of, you know, get the technique down, he's done it for a long time, but it's, it can be very, very soothing. Is that your new hobby now, maybe? I don't know about that, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, hey, if you want to uh, participate or go out there and buy some of those bowls, the Empty Bowls event is March 3rd from 11 to 2 p.m. at the Southwest School of Art. And again, bowls are $25. You can enjoy delicious soup from local restaurants, and the goal is to raise thousands of dollars for Sam Ministries, which helps provide services to the homeless here in town. And as Navarro mentioned, you can also get kind of a little early bird special there for an extra price. So nice. go check that out. And like you said, it is rain or shine and some beautiful, beautiful artwork, wooden bowls as well, and all those great ceramic bowls. What a great cause. Yeah. Exciting. Good job, Mike. Thanks. All right, still ahead on SA Live, we're crafting with Alamo City mom blogger Megan. Learn these easy DIY ideas that you can do with your little ones. And next on SA Live for your sweet tooth, we're open in a fun cupcake recipe at the Crunch Cosmic Cakery has more right after the break. Say live. We are continuing our rodeo fun with some sweet treats from Cosmic Cakery today. Yeah, Brittany Morgan is here. Welcome. And these are some of the yeah. most adorable cake How pops, cakes, cupcakes, and very simple to do. Yes. If you know what you're doing, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> and we're going to show you how to make some at home with your kids using very simple ingredients. We just have Pringles, um, Twizzler rope, and then some little gumdrops. Okay, and it's it's this That's little the cowboy the hat. Cake. Yes, and I love Which, this little touch here around mm -hmm. the. You can just tie a rope <laughs> around it or whatever you'd like. Okay, so how do we start? All right, so you're gonna start with the frosting, mm -hmm. and you'll just kind of twist your bag, and ice and it. Just, it's like in a round, circular motion. Okay. Okay, and then we can work on making the hat. So you'll just take the Pringle, and then. Well, I'll pass this down for you guys. The hat is so cute. I know. I love That's that. That's the best part with the Pringles. There you go. So, so you'll just put a little bit of chocolate, chocolate the on, the, on the gumdrop. Okay. So this is white chocolate? Yes. Let's see here. And while we're gluing this on here, whereabouts are you located? We are located on 150 West Olmos. Um, we did just recently expand into 148 West Olmos as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have a larger location now where we can have parties and classes and you can um, find that on our Facebook page when we have different events going on as well. Okay and then we put the little so yes. this is the glue this all the way around mm -hmm. right? All okay. the way around it? Okay. And then you'll just wrap the little Twizzler rope. And we have got some pictures of some of the cakes. Yes, and yes we do all made. kinds of custom cakes. Wedding season is definitely in swing, so we do all kinds of wedding cakes, baby showers, birthdays, gender reveals. I love the cakes that you do, like this ramen right here. Yes. I mean, that is amazing. Okay, then that's all cake. And <laughs> all that's, cake, all edible, 100% edible. Chanel. Yes. Wow. You're, You're so can, talented. It's a chain and all. <laughs> and, and what was the most unusual cake you ever made? The most unusual cake is going to be a foot amputation cake. Oh that my we gosh. Did. <laughs> Wow. But we do get Wasn't crazy requests. That. Oh, wow. Those are absolutely beautiful. How long, and just about anything you can imagine, you can make. Well, like amputated foot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't get any more unusual than that, folks. And so then you can put a little star oh, yeah. on Let it. Let me add the star. How's yours going, Mike? Let me see what you Not got. Not bad. Okay, okay. And if somebody wanted to order a, a custom cake like that, about how far in advance should they so do it? So we asked that they order maybe about a week to two weeks in advance. We do get really busy. Um, but, you know, we always try to accommodate the best we can. So just, you know, give us a call and we'll let you know. 
Okay. <laughs> Mine's a little messy. Pop that on there like that. There you go. Wonderful. And you have classes as well that you can We teach? do, yes. We offer classes on Sundays, and um, we do have a list of those, like I say, on our website and also on our Facebook page as well. Okay. So classes, cake pops, and pretty much any kind of requests. Any you can custom cakes, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, Got fantastic. For, for more information on Cosmic Cakery, head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Those are absolutely adorable. Another use for Pringles. I love that. So, <laughs> all right, still ahead on SA Live, a fashion show for a very, very good cause. You won't believe how much, or should we say how little these outfits are. Goodwill is here to share more on this great event. And next on SA Live, we're getting a taste of what you can experience at the Home and Garden Show. Some decor, some gardening, a little bit of everything. We're going to give you a taste of what you can experience there. That's coming up. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you're ready to get your yard ready for spring, maybe even your home with some decor, well, you're in luck. The Home and Garden Show is happening this weekend, and today we are getting a sneak peek at what you can experience there. I have Jolyn Tice here today, owner of Firefly uh, Pottery, to do some fun demonstrations, because this is all about the experience when you go out there. You can take the family, and you can actually engage in some fun activities like this, right? That's right, yes. So what do we have here today? So we are doing a workshop here. Part of our business, we make functional pottery and uh, ceramic decor, but we also do handmade workshops. So that's what we're going to be doing at the Home and Garden Show. So we're going to be doing this hanging air plant holder. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. So this, you said, can go inside or out, but preferably inside, preferably right? Preferably inside. The plants are um, generally an indoor plant. They don't have roots. They get their water from their leaves there. So, so where would you put that if you were to put it inside the house? Um, you can actually hang it anywhere. Okay. We uh, we have some, you know, by windows and okay. things like that. But Got it. they're pretty low-maintenance plants. So. That's nice. Good to know. So what are we doing today? So we're going to be plain, uh, painting the uh, holder here. So we're going to have different ways that you can decorate them. We have um, different sponges, stencils. Um, Q-tips for doing polka tots. There's some examples of how we can do that there. Um, but we're going to be making this one today. Okay. So I went ahead and did the stripes for us. So we're just going to pull the tape off of here to reveal those. And this business is dear to you because you come from a whole family that has this yes. background, right? Tell me yes. about that. My um, grandmother was a ceramic artist. She did it full time. She did festivals and um, had her wares in different boutiques and stuff in the San Marcos area. So um, nice. something very near and dear to my heart and something I've been doing my whole life. So Got it. very excited about it. All right. So now we're going to take a stencil. These are actually um, almost like sticker stencils. Um, take Just whichever pick one you'd okay, like. We'll go with the butterfly. So these, where can you find these kind of stencils? Um, these are actually from Hobby Lobby. Yes. Um, they have a lot of different. I like the adhesive ones because they um, don't move around on you so much. So you just want to make sure in the different, the lines to kind of push it down so it doesn't okay. move around too much. Like that. And I'll take the any paint. Color? Don't put too much paint on your brush because sometimes it kind of leaks under the stencil there. But you're just going to dab it on. So when people go by, you're going to have some of your items for sale at the Home and Garden Show. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. So what can they get from you when they go out there? So we're going to have um, different pieces for sale. They can also um, do these uh, planters, but there's also going to be a lot of other things that people can do as well. Um, there's going to be DIY seminars. There's going to be a kid zone with a Peppa Pig. <gasps> Peppa Pig! And oh, um, a celebrity stage that's going to have Jeff Lewis from Bravo's Flipping Out. Um, and just a lot of things. It's a very interactive event um, and something for everybody. The whole family can enjoy. So. Got it. All right. And how many different, I mean, there's hundreds of different exhibitors there, right? Yes, as well, there's so. going to be hundreds of exhibitors. Lots of different things um, from arts and gifts to home renovation. Um, What's one thing there that people may not expect that's going to be there that... Um, one of the things that I like is the animal adoptions. That's my oh, favorite. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah. Okay, nice. All right. So then once we get this down, we just take it off? Yes, it should, it should dry pretty quickly. You okay. may want to kind of... 
All right. Well, uh, we do have a giveaway today, so that's exciting. If you do want to take your family out there uh, to the San Antonio Home and Garden Show, we're giving away two family four packs. You can enter at ksat.com slash contest, and th we will pick those winners. And this contest will go on to, through Thursday, so you have time to win. And also, the show is on Friday, Friday through Sunday. And for more information on that, you can go to San Antonio Home Shows. Dot com. Again, tons of exhibitors out there, and you can get involved. There's lots of hands-on things to do and something for everybody to get you ready for spring. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for having me. Still ahead on SA Live, we're getting crafty with Alamo City mom blogger Megan. We'll show you these cute ideas that you can try at home. And, yes, they are rodeo-themed. And next on SA Live, looking your best on a budget. Goodwill is showing us some looks for their fashion show coming up, and it's all for good cause. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you want to look good and feel good and get some new clothes for a price that you are not going to believe, it won't even think about breaking the bank. Joining us today is Penny Benavides from Goodwill to share these fashions, and they cost how much? $20 or under. The whole outfit. The entire outfit. Not bad, right? Not, not, not <laughs> bad, not bad at all. And this is all part of a, a big uh, event that's going to be coming up. We're going to talk about that yes. in just a second. But first uh -huh. of all, Alana has this whole outfit, except for her shoes, got at Goodwill, right? She got at Goodwill. So again, under $20. So this is a great, you know, get together with the girls for coffee or for a cocktail. Um, real casual, but yeah, top, jeans, that purse, all for $20 and under. Those are some great finds there. If you just kind of look around, and, and the nice thing is, it's just... Uh, an entire collection of clothes of all different varieties, right? And for everyone in your family. And that's the beauty of shopping Goodwill is that you never know what you're going to find. If you like that thrill of the hunt, that treasure hunt, Goodwill is a perfect place for you. And of course, you're not going to break the bank. Okay, there is, um, I guess you'd call it kind of sometimes the stigma with Goodwill and think, well, it's, it's, it's you know, used clothing and it's not in good shape or anything like that. Yeah, but that's not the situation. Some people right? think that, but not at all. We have quality merchandise in all of our stores. Some of it is gently used. Um, but a lot of it is also brand new. So we were talking earlier, right? We, we're all guilty of having buying those things spontaneously, putting them in our closet, and then going, whoops, we've never yeah. worn it before. There are things life. in your closet that still have a tag on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You have not put them on your body. And <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and it's a great way to recycle and, and to be sustainable and, and friendly for the environment as well. So. Okay, and Sarah, beautiful. And once again, the whole outfit. At Goodwill, less than 20 bucks. Absolutely. So this is a great going to work, everyday look. She got the jacket, the dress. That's a Banana Republic jacket. Um, shoes, everything from Goodwill for $20 and under. And then she could take that jacket off and she's ready again for cocktails in the evening. So that goes from day to night pretty easily. And the great color, too, going into spring and, you know, something. The other thing we were talking about, mm -hmm. too, is because in the event coming up that you're teaming up with Junior League for, um, this is a perfect way to maybe do a little shopping for kids as well because, right. you know, like you said, the Easter Sunday picture is coming up, and it's that little sport <laughs> coat that he's going to wear one time. The one time. Yeah, the one or time. the dress that's going to be worn one time. That's exactly right. So as the weather warms up, there's lots of opportunities to have fun with fashion, whether it's Easter, Fiesta. Here we have joy spring break, right? So she's ready for a little vacay. I think we all are. This is another very casual, very fun outfit, easy outfit that she got at Goodwill. The top, the hat, the crossbody purse, the pants, all $20 and under at Goodwill. And again, a lot of those times, a lot of times it's like, I need that, that hat. And you can drive around to, you know, 87 different stores, but just go in there and more than likely you're going to have something like that, right? Something like that. That's exactly right. And that's $3.99. So you don't have to feel guilty about it at all. You can have a lot of fun with it. You can play with fashion at Goodwill and feel good that you're supporting our mission to help change lives through the power of work. And then with this event coming up, even a greater community impact. It's ten year anniversary with Junior League, yes. and so you're you're teaming up here and have this big event. That's right. So this is the 95th annual Rummage Around event that the Junior League has hosted for 95 years. And at Goodwill, we've been so fortunate to partner with them for the last 10 years. So this is our 10th anniversary that, we're, that we are celebrating with this event that gives back to the community in much larger ways. So the Junior League donates to Goodwill throughout the year. On this day, Saturday, February 23rd, we're going to put those items out for sale at six of our stores from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. In return for those wonderful donations, we are giving $40,000 back to uh, Junior League 
uh, in Goodwill gift cards that are then supported to nonprofit organizations here in our community. And like we were talking about, this is such a, a perfect way because, you know, two great organizations, and this is definitely coming around and going around again. That's and then. Right back around again just to help out the community, like that's, you said. That's exactly right. So through our partnership through these 10 years, we have provided nearly $240,000 in Goodwill gift cards back to the community, back to our other nonprofit organizations that are using those gift cards. Again, it's not transactional, it's transformational. Okay. These are organizations that are using those gift cards to help single moms furnish a home, to help those organizations purchase the needs that they need for their programs. Penny, thank you very much. And for more information, again, this is the Rummage Around. It is February 23rd at 2 o'clock, the Blanco location. And again, for more information on that, you can go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Beautiful fashions, great, great event. Thank you all very much, ladies. Still ahead, let's rodeo San Antonio. We're roping in some of the cutest rodeo crafts for the kiddos. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. We're roping and wrangling some cute crafts for the rodeo. On today's show, I have Megan Debrill here with Alamo City Mom Blogs. And you brought some fun crafts, but you also brought some cuties over there. And they are your little ones. Can you introduce them to us? Yes, we are rodeo ready. This is Preston and Alexandra. They are so adorable. I love their outfits. Guys, y'all are adorable. Y'all going to help us today? Yeah, you're doing some crafting? Okay, we'll let them work on that. And you brought three easy ideas. I love this because this is something you could do at home with the little ones. Yes, these are definitely super simple ideas. And, you know, when you have little ones, you just like to keep it simple. And use yes. what you already have or things that you can find like at Goodwill or yes. at a thrift shop. Um, so we'll start with we have these cute little pom-pom sheep. And they're so... <laughs> Super simple to make. So, <laughs> These are adorable. I will let you go ahead and uh, finish one off there. And all you need, you can use a piece of cardboard or you can do it um, just on your hand. That's what Preston That's was what doing That's what Preston's over doing. There. You're doing a great job, Preston. And you're just going to wrap it, and you want to wrap it at least 50, 60 times. So if you want to practice counting with your mm -hmm. kids, it's a good opportunity for that. I like that. And you're just going to wrap it and wrap it. And then next we will just cut out a little circle for a face from your black felt and two little ears, just a little <laughs> ear shape. Cute. And we'll just glue them on. I like to use tacky glue. You oh, could use hot glue. Tacky glue. Why yeah. is this? We'll why is this? Put a preferred? dot of that. A tacky glue is really great because it dries pretty fast and it's really sticky. I've never used this. Oh yeah, so I'm it's so a little excited. better than just regular <laughs> white glue because that you know it, it just doesn't dry as fast and. In, hot, hot glue would glue. be good too, but with little kids, hot glue can be hard. Yes. So. Well, good we'll to know. Tacky glue. Tacky glue is the way And then to go. why don't you pick ones. out some eyes yes. for us? Yes. We'll go with green, my son's favorite color All right. here. So we'll just put two little dots for some eyes here. And crafting is your thing, because this is what you blog about all the time, right? Yeah, uh, so I love um, crafting. <laughs> there we go. There's our little sheep. So crafting is a way Cute. for our family to really just connect and get to know each other and have great conversations. And one of the things we love to do is do crafts that we can actually use around our home. Mm -hmm. So they're not ones that we're just going to throw away. So here we have um, just this fabric bunting and it's super simple, made out of bandanas. So I like to use pinking shears. They're the scissors with like the little zigzags on them. And we'll just cut the bandana into strips okay. and then just and this can be a family project too because everybody can work at once. So you'll just take one of your strips here and I like to just wrap it around it. This is called a girth hitch knot. Super simple. You're just going to take the ends okay. and slip it through the circle there. So there we go. And the kids can do this. Yeah, the kids I mean, can do it and it's super so simple. Easy. So you can either pre-cut the strips or let, um, let a little bit older kids I love this. And you can hang this over the mantle or wherever yeah, you want. and it can be a decoration for a rodeo. It can be for 4th of July. Super versatile. Cowboy theme party. Maybe. Yes. yes. And then to continue on with some decorations that you can use around the home, I love to do things that we can use for multiple things. So here are some centerpieces that we love Beautiful. to use for rodeo or fall or a picnic. And we're just going to take some twine. And you can use it. This comes in different sizes. Mm -hmm. And we will just use a little hot glue and wrap it around. Dab and it right there. And then we're just going to wrap it and just wrap it all the way. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be right. 
you know, however Perfect. you want it to be. I love that these were very simple to do and you can find more, not only crafts, but everything you can think of for moms make life a little easier on Alamo City Mom Blog, the website. So you're one of many contributors. Yes, and there are about 40 of us and mm -hmm. we write about all different topics and you can find guides, um, you know, for parks around the city or splash pads or anything useful for moms in San Antonio. All right. Well, we have their information on our website, salive.com. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you, cuties. Y'all doing a great job over there. Well, tomorrow on SA Live, we have Alamo City House Rabbits on the show, and they will share some proper health care tips for bunnies and how you can give one of their furry friends a forever home. Plus, we're shaking things up for National Margarita Day, cocktails with a kick from Twang and Dolce Vita Tequila, that and much more tomorrow at 1. Located in the heart of downtown San Antonio near the Riverwalk is Bohannon's Prime Steaks and Seafood, an award-winning restaurant known for its high level of service and for their rare cuts of beef that you can't find at your average steakhouse. Man, here we go. The order's up. Chef Mark Bohannon opened the steakhouse more than 15 years ago in 2002 in a building built in the 1800s. I'll never forget that day. His mission? to offer guests flawless service, exceptional wine, and the best cuts of steak he can find. We sell at Bohannon's all prime grade steaks from Allen Brothers out of Chicago now for 14 of the 16 years. We have also added the Miyazaki Prefecture out of Japan, which we lovingly call A5. That simply means five grades above prime. This one right here is the A5 beef filet. That means it's five levels above prime. This stuff is Insane. Here we go. Looks delicious. I'm excited. <laughs> and first off, it just melts in your mouth. Watch Elder Eats every Thursday at 1.30 p.m. to explore both new and iconic restaurants around Central and South Texas. And don't forget to follow the show on social media for contests, pictures, and behind-the-scenes looks. Keep eating, San Antonio. For Elder Eats, I'm David Elder. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Gonzalo Medical Group is part of the community. They have been dedicated to taking care of San Antonians for more than 60 years. And joining us today is Dr. Greg Gonzaba and Dr. Rodrigo Nahara, the Houston transplant. Welcome to San Antonio, sir. Thank you. So you're a Spurs fan now, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> we told him he had to say that. <laughs> he has to do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. So, okay, uh, Gonzaba Medical Group, if, if sure. nobody's familiar with it, explain it. Sure. So we're a primary care group, Mike, here in San Antonio. As, as you may recall from last time, we've been around for many years, over 50 years. We've got several locations in San Antonio. Um, and we opened our newest location in northwest San Antonio off Culebra and Petranco, 28,000 square foot facility. And it, it serves all in the San Antonio community. We have multiple modalities of treatment from CAT scan, MRI, CT, uh, physical therapy, all under our own group. And that, it's already been nine months since that opened yes, up. Yes, it has been nine months. And the nice thing about it is, it is literally, uh, as we've said, one-stop shopping. That is correct. We actually even have our own urgent care that houses the Gonzaga patients and anybody that wants to come. It does, you don't have to be a Gonzaga patient. The difference is that if you are a Gonzaga patient, we know what medications are on. So if we have to treat you, there's no interactions. Okay. We're open seven days a week. We never close. So this time, and we were talking about, because everybody has something right now. Sure. It's either the flu or, the, you know, it's just... The crud part. I guess the best way is that the medical term for it or something like that. But what uh, should people be doing right now to take care of themselves, doctor? Well, first of all, we always recommend to get vaccinated against the flu. And if you're feeling sick, if you have a fever, feel run over, we recommend to go to our urgent care. He's open Monday through Sunday. And after they see you and take care of you, then you can also find a primary care doctor and take care of your health from then on. Okay. If it is, I mean, if you think you might have the flu, but that's not something that you can just drink a hot toddy, right? <laughs> You're right. You need to get in there and go see somebody, right? Yeah, to recommend go see the doctor, get checked, get tested for the influenza, specifically because if you do have the flu, there are certain medicines that can help you or family members around you. Because especially for elderly folks, it yes. can be extremely dangerous, right? It can. It can lead to several complications like pneumonia or getting sicker. So we always recommend just come in, get checked, and get treated. Okay, if you had three tips for somebody right now, you know, this time of year, because we just got done with mountain cedar around here, oak's going to be coming up, there's, you know, whatever it is going around right now, what is it? Yes, well, number one, we always recommend 
go see your doctor, get checked. A lot of people think you only have to be sick to go to the doctor, but not necessarily. You can talk about prevention, mammogram studies, labs, things like that. Number two is always ask questions. If, if you don't understand what your doctor is saying or the nurse is saying, you can always stop them, make sure they answer your questions so there's nothing left out in the air. Because a lot of people are sometimes intimidated by doctors. I mean, you come in the, in the, in the white coats and everything, yeah, yeah. And, you, and you start talking doctor, and you're like, oh, what do I, I don't know what that means. But sure. just ask, right? That is right. And number three is be active. Do a lot of exercise. Get out there. Uh, be with other uh, senior citizens. Come with family, everyone else. Eat healthy and those kinds of things. And like you were talking about the ounce of prevention and going to... Gonzaga Medical Group, sure. you get to know the doctors and Absolutely. they know you. So Absolutely. it's not just going to some stranger, basically. That is correct. We build very personal relationships. It is part of our, of our motto that we try to live by all, organ, all of our clinics, como familia, which means like, like family, where we try to treat our patients like family. Okay. Well, thank you, doctors. Appreciate it. And again, welcome to, uh, to San Antonio. And if you'd like more information on Gonzaga Medical Group, you can call them at 210-405-4322 or go to gonzaba.com. We'll be right back. Something on our show tomorrow that you've never heard this before on live <laughs> television, a snake gender reveal. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's a wild Wednesday. Only here on SA Live. <laughs> yes, that's definitely. And after that, you're probably going to need a margarita. Uh, yeah. And we're going to be. Ooh, yeah. We're celebrating, right? With Dolce Vita and Twang. Mm. Yeah, because National Margarita Day yes. is coming up, which Friday. for some people is just about every day. <laughs> and a boxing demo with all women boxing. Ooh, I like that. Your best shot right now. One, two. Have a good day. Fiona's back tomorrow. Yeah.